website. So we focus on the nodule in the right lobe on this this one, this larger one. We can't see the video. Don't don't see the video. Sorry. Uh, sorry, no. I, I, I share uh, once more. No. I start it again. Case two thousand and one hundred. Uh, 52. Is it okay? It's okay now. Okay, now the video. So uh, yeah. please, please focus uh, on this nodule in the right lobe. First, without comment. And the left lobe is not interesting in this case this time. So here we can see this uh, nodule. Uh, in the right lobe. My first question relies not on the borders, but on the intrandular hyperechoic figures. What are these? Backward Please? Backward and Ooh, I don't understand. Uh, there is backward and Do you see the colloid spots? Does anybody understand? Uh, yeah, the, the hyperechoic figures are backward figures and commentate. I, I don't understand quite clear. Uh, uh, these uh, uh, are uh, related. Uh, no, so please, uh, if somebody has a question or comment, please make, but I don't un cannot understand what. Um, please? She was saying that that was back wall figures yes. okay. and cometal artifacts. Yes, okay. yes, uh, I absolutely agree with the first, uh, the back wall figures. Uh, cometal artifacts, maybe this module might have cometal artifacts. Uh, I try to find, I can explain that within the cystic areas also there are hyperechoic spots, but uh, uh, the first impression could be that uh, this is a uh, yes. Here, here were uh, cometary artifacts, I think, in this part, and this is also suspicious uh, being a cometary artifact. Yes, this here. Yes. So uh, these uh, all these figures are related uh, to uh, cystic degeneration, and uh, this pattern again is quite uniformly distributed uh, all along the nodule. These hyperechoic spots. So don't uh, 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 misjudge these as microcalcifications. These are clearly uh, related to cystic areas. So this was a, a side question. My main question is how to judge the borders of this module. Does anybody else have a comment or a guess how to judge these borders? No, if not, it's normal, uh, no. Please? Uh, I think it's normal because uh, the irregularities are only caused by the anatomical, uh, the anatomy of the thyroid, no? Okay. So no lobulation. Yeah. The next webinar, you will be managed, the next webinar, and I will go to holiday. So, you are absolutely right. It is not a, not a simple case. Uh, here is another nodule. And uh, this is uh, not uh, easy to uh, distinguish this nodule from the normal parenchyma, but this nodule makes an impression. So, this lobulation here and here uh, is not related to this nodule, but to the impression of the other one. Uh, I thought that this is a more difficult case, but but 
maybe not. So uh, these are labulations, but are caused not by the pathology of this module. So this should not be regarded uh, as a suspicious sign here and here. And uh, this case raises uh, one more problem here. Uh, in this part of the lobe, the lobe itself narrows. So here again simply follows uh, the nodule, the normal anatomy of the thyroid gland. So this is one issue and this is another issue. So neither of these uh, irregularities, these uh, speculation or these labulations should be regarded as abnormal. So we always uh, have to compare the nodule to the anatomy. Do you agree with, not me, with us, with the colleague and me, or does anybody has other option or comment? Sir, may I ask a question? Please? May I ask a question, please? please? Yes, uh, yes. In the, in the lateral border of the nodule, there is a small microlobulation, maybe? Yes, okay. Uh, if you if you Your, play the video again, yeah, yes, okay. that part, that part exactly. Which part? Um. So, yeah, just before that, it disappears. It's on the lateral wall. Yes, yes. Can you see it? It's quite here, small. Here, for example, here. Yes, yes. That's what I was mentioning. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and this is the issue. Uh, that's why uh, is the highest the inter observer uh, uh, disagreement in the event of nodule borders. I did not judge uh, this small lobulation as abnormal, but I can uh, uh, imagine that uh, other uh, experts uh, would judge this lobulation in a different way as abnormal. Yes, yes. Here, here is uh, this. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 your, your question is uh, very valid. Uh, Gilles, are you here with us? Uh, I, I'm absolutely, yes, I, I'm absolutely with you, uh, with you all, and I was uh, listening to what you were saying, but no, no, I would not consider it as irregular because uh, one is not enough. So uh, when the whole surface of a nodule is very regular, uh, I would not consider one tiny lobulation as significant. Mm -hmm. There have to be too many. Uh, I think that in the, in what goes into you, the mind of the expert is something quite holistic. We, we take the whole, the whole nodule, all the, all the characteristics to judge it. So instantly, it's mildly hypoechoic. It has very numerous tiny microcystic cavities. Obviously, the hyperechoic spots are of benign nature. Obviously, the whole surface is very regular. Um, if you don't I take understand. into account this very small lobulation. So on the whole, I, I understand. It's benign. Yes, you thank understand. Thank you very much. OK, thank Welcome. you. Welcome. OK. Thank you very much, Jill, for your help. Other com comments, questions related to this case? Maybe uh, the Doppler would be help us. Doppler? It seems to be a vessel. This, uh, uh, this irregular part seems to be a vessel. Mm, uh, I'm not a very great friend of Doppler mode. I always uh, uh, record the Doppler mode, but in this case, I, I don't think that uh, it could be uh, any help. And, and I don't think that we need any help in this case. So this is clearly, as uh, Gilles explained, in a holistic manner, it is clearly a benign lesion. So uh, uh, I, I don't think that we uh, need additional help. Uh, I don't know what was the color in this case, but uh, you have the opportunity 
uh, I will uh, link the entire uh, case report uh, uh, by uh, Sunday evening, and uh, you can uh, analyze uh, e either the uh, color Doppler mode. Uh, if I may ask, uh, please uh, return the question to the, the person who asks the question. What would you expect from the doctor in that case? Why, why are you asking the question? What would you perform it? Tell us. If, if there is a dog that it, it has a irregular part or not irregular part, maybe a doctor could be helped. But for me, it's a, a benign nodule, no? It has uh, regular borders and no other uh, anormal or pathological uh, criteria. Um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Well, Thomas, can, can you re rephrase the, uh, uh, the answer? I, I think that she stated that uh, he uses the Doppler for determining the e either the borders. If the uh, color is evenly distributed, uh, then uh, this is a fact uh, that helps her uh, to make her judgment. Uh, uh, are you understand uh, uh, exactly? Did you state it, this one? No? Okay, I, I tried to find this case yeah. with the Doppler. What, yeah, what has been published uh, on Doppler and margins is, uh, it was in the AJR, I think, uh, maybe two to three years ago. Uh, there was a case shown where uh, the Doppler was of some help to define if there was an extra thyroidal extension. They were showing uh, vascularity in the, uh, um, besides the, uh, the, um, the, the thyroid capsule and taking it at, as a feature of extra thyroidal extension. So it was interesting. I, I don't, I'm not sure it's true, but anyway, it was interesting, but to judge uh, the, regularity of the border or the margins i i've never i don't think i've never read any publication any report on the subject but so on. So. i think that there was a great enthusiast um, uh, about uh, the doppler mode when it was first published 20 or 25 mm -hmm. years ago uh, but but it it, it rarely uh, gives uh, us help uh, I use the Doppler mainly uh, when I have a great uh, help from this uh, technique in mild forms of hyperthyroidism. Uh, if uh, in, when the um, issue is whether a patient presented with mild hyperthyroidism has Hashi toxicosis or Graves disease, and in Graves disease uh, the um, vascularity should be elevated, increased while in Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it can be decreased. Not an absolute uh, uh, difference, but, but uh, in the event of uh, decreased vascularity, uh, then grave disease has a very uh, limited uh, uh, chance. I, I mainly use for this purpose, and uh, the other is uh, to uh, detect uh, perinodular blood flow uh, in the event of a follicular lesion, which uh, makes uh, the chance that the uh, lesion is really a uh, follicular tumor uh, greater if uh, either halo or perinodular blood flow are present. I, I use only for these two purposes. Uh, what to use, uh, Gilles? For what other? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, totally, I totally agree with you, uh, Thomas. I, I use it in the same way. Um, so differentiating the... Uh, Colloid sometimes can be difficult from solid parts, and if you have a very sensitive Doppler, it can help. But I was wrong two days ago uh, on that matter in, uh -huh. in a special case. So, 
you, you have to be uh, very prudent on the on the subject, but usually I use it for that purpose. And of course, Doppler is very, very helpful uh, for all uh, interventional uh, practice, FNA to to detect the uh, the veins, uh, the arteries, to to see them better for the RFA uh, to determine. Uh, the uh, importance of the vascularity, which will in turn determine uh, the, the importance of the energy you're going to deliver to the nodule. So uh, for, for interventional uh, practice, it's, it's certainly important, but for risk stratification, it has a very low impact. And even with the super resolution we have now, uh, the uh, uh, I, I don't think it's very, very much better. But for lymph nodes, uh, Doppler is really very useful to judge about the architecture. And there again, super resolution is very useful in that case. Yes, yes, I agree with you. That's yes, the, 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 the most imp more important uh, is the judgment, uh, in a uh, difficult to judge lymph node, uh, an abnormal vascularity. Uh, I think that you have mm. published this paper with Lawrence uh, about uh, yeah. the, the lymph node uh, vascularity. So, uh, and and there is a other possibility which is uh, described in the literature that uh, the paratoid parathyroid adenoma uh, has a quite characteristic arc uh, when uh, at the part when the where the um, artery enters the parathyroid. But I I don't find it uh, very sensitive sign, but um, it is worse to uh, pay some attention. Uh, other cases related, uh, other cases, other questions or comments related to this case? If not, we go further with the next one. Uh, 